Hello, welcome to Care in the Kitchen. Today, I wanna teach you how to make my oh so yummy banana nut muffin. So we're gonna start with three bananas. As they say, the more ripe they are, the more flavor, so. But if they're fresh from the store, that's okay too. So we're just gonna peel them and put them in our bowl. Okay, so I mashed up the bananas a little bit. We're gonna add three quarters cup of white sugar. And then we're gonna crack in one egg. So also while we're preparing the batter, it's good to preheat your oven to 350 and get your muffin tin ready. Next, we're gonna add in a third cup of oil, vegetable oil. Next, we're gonna add in one cup, one and a half cups of flour. So next, we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. So one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm using chopped pecans, but you, pecans, pecans, however you say it. Um, but you can use whatever nut, like walnuts, whatever you prefer. We're gonna do three quarters cup and mix it in with the flour so that it stays coated. So when it bakes, it doesn't sink to the bottom. So in between mixing, it's always good to use a rubber spatula and scrape your sides and scrape the bottom so everything is well incorporated. And now for that delicious topping, we got a tablespoon of melted butter. We're gonna do two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then we're gonna add our nuts to that mixture and it's gonna make it kind of like a candied pecan on top. So now I have a 12 cup muffin tin. I put liners in it, but you can always just pan spray. It just makes it easier clean up. So next I have all my muffin tins filled. We're gonna top it with this candied pecan mixture and throw it in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. You can always use a toothpick and poke it through. If it comes out clean, it's ready to go. In the famous words of Ina Garden, doesn't that just look fabulous? All right, fresh out of the oven. Look how good those look. So we're gonna let these cool for a couple minutes and we're gonna give it a little taste test. All right, fresh out of the oven, time for the taste test. Super soft on the inside, slight banana flavor. The caramelized pecans on top are absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Care in the Kitchen. Bye.